Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and my hat is off to the people who've already sent an answer to our June Patreon reward puzzle. Well done. I mean, one of the things that happens is we put out the Patreon reward and our inbox starts at some point getting flooded with answers. And in a way, you know, that's quite amusing, but it's not a problem because it's just brilliant to see um, the number of people who are having a go at the puzzles and the comments they make, which have been unsurprisingly on this occasion, very full of praise for the puzzles. Thank you so much again to Grockles, The Asylum and Panthera for creating those packs. And there is has been um, a very slight, a different upload today, which fixes um, one small ambiguity in a puzzle and also um, makes a slight clarification on how to enter. But it's clearly n the original instructions haven't troubled most of you. Brilliant efforts. Well done. And we have even had some entries for the doctoral program pack, which is some somewhere between 30 and 40 puzzles, um, I think, at the higher end of that. It is phenomenal that anybody has sat up all night solving these puzzles. Very well done um, to those people who've done that. It's astonishing to me. Um, I, t I certainly tested the, uh, the normal pack, and that took me two or three days to get through. I can't believe people have done the full doctoral program in a day as well. It's as well as the, the regular pack. It's astonishing. Uh, so well done to everybody who's had a go at that. Do think about joining Patreon if you haven't, if only to have a go at the PBN Institute's um, puzzle pack. It's brilliant. Now, what else is going on? Well, loads, actually. Simon's talking about having another go at the pedestrian on a live stream at some point next week. Um, there's also various things we have planned coming up. Um, we've got all our apps and merchandise back available. Somebody did buy a onesie yesterday. Excellent. I hope your baby's going to look great in it. Um, and, oh, I mean, just so much going on. It's fantastic. And uh, today's puzzle looks very interesting too. This one is called, well, it's called Suicide Squad. I'm not going to major on that. I don't really know why. Um, it's by, though, Star Warigami, who has featured two or three times on the channel now. I think always Simon solving puzzles by Star Warigami. So it's my turn today, um, and I get a go at this constructor. Now, the rules are relatively simple. Um, normal Sudoku rules apply. In cages, digits can't repeat. However, now we have these circles to deal with. Each number in a circle must be the total of at least one of the cages touching that circle. That's the rule. So it's a bit like quads, only up here, for instance, there's a 14 and 16 in that circle. And that means that one of these cages has a sum of 14 and the other has a sum of 16 because they both touch that circle. So that's how the rule set works. Really interesting idea for a puzzle. I don't think... Uh, we've ever seen quads played with in that way before. So do give it a try um, on the first link under the video. I am going to start now. Um, it's just occurred to me to make sure that, yes, that my sound is working. Otherwise, I would have to start again. Um, and once I go beyond this point, I don't start again. So anyway, let's get cracking now. So... Hmm, how do we get cracking? If we can find a couple of boxes where we know the totals. You see, yeah, these boxes are interesting, aren't they? Just got these two outies from the shapes. So if we add up oops, the totals, yeah, I think this... I'm just checking, this circle is touching three cages, so those are 13, 15, and 17. Oh, bother, no, it doesn't work, because those are in a cage from this total. Okay, so I was going to add up 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, which I can work out are 87, because it's 12 plus 17 times 3. But anyway, um, that doesn't help. No, hang on, maybe that does help. 
Okay, that really helped that I could do that in my head quite quickly. Is this right? I'm not sure about this. Oh, well, the sum I'm sure about. Now, how do I know 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 plus 17 equals 87? I know that because if 12 plus 17 equals 29, then 13 plus 16, i.e. 1 less and 1 more, must equal 29. 14 plus 15 must equal 29. So we've got three lots of 29, and I know that three 29s are 87 because I know that three thirties are 90, and I can take three off that. Now, 87 is an interesting total. I thought it wasn't, but it is. I thought it wasn't relevant because these were outside. So look, this group adds up to 87. Now, the absolute, oh, I don't know. I think this is relevant. Just bear with me because we've got to, that the secret tells us that those cages add up to 90 because every, oh, sorry, those two boxes add up to 90 because every Sudoku box is made up of one to nine and our big secret is that they add up to 45. So every box adds up to 45. So if those add up to 90 and these add up to 87, so blue adds up to 90, yellow adds up to 87. So... If you deduct that, so so blue adds up to three more than yellow. That's just facts. So if we deduct those out, still, they're the same from each set. So blue still adds up to three more than yellow. Oh, bother. I thought that was going to help. But it doesn't, because these could be... These, this could therefore be anything from 1 to 9. That group could add up to anything from 4 to 12 as a result. Okay, down here, those add up to 35, so those two add up to 10 using the secret again. Here, the 4-cell cage could be 11 if it was 1, 2, 3, 5. Yeah, then you could have four, seven. Yeah, that's right. Um, 16, 16. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, right. Okay. In this in this box, these two cages. Sorry about the stutter. Um, add up to either forty one or forty two. It can't be the twenty four and twenty five. That would add up to 49, and that's too much for the 45 total for the box. So the 17 is one of them, and the other is 24 or 25. Ah, yes, 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 we're away now. Look, that means these two add up to 41 or 42. That means these two add up to 3 or 4. So they include a 1, and they are 1, 2, or 3. Now... This one, I think we, I just worked out, can't be one or two. Let me check that. These add up, the blues add up to three more than that. So if it was two, they would have to add up to five. That's not possible. This is a three. We are away. We are away. That's a one, two, three set. This is a one because one of these had to be a one. These two now add up to 45 minus 4, 41. They're 17 and 24. I don't know in what order, but I do know this is 25 and it's got a 1 in it. So the others are 9, 8, 7. The 10 cage here has to be 6, 4. I don't know which one it is. Uh, and that means the 6 cage has to be 5, 1. And these other two in the box are a 2, 3. Oh my goodness. I love how this flows. Oh, I do know, I don't know which one is 6, 4, but I do know which one is 1, 5 because of that 1, 2, 3 set. It isn't there. So now I know that's the 6, 4. Now, this is going to make up a total of either 14 or 16. 6 plus 8 or 6, but it can't be 6. So that's an 8. No, I've got my maths wrong. Oh, <laughs> 6 plus 10 or 8. 
Okay, I didn't need that. Um, and this can't be 10 for fairly obvious reasons. Shout if you know why. Right, so that's an 8. This is the 14 cage. This is the 16 cage. I'm glad my I'm glad my arithmetic only broke down on that cage because if it was wrong before we'd be in a terrible pickle. Ah, this eleven cage now can't be one two three five because three and one are looking at those cells. If it was one two three five, which is the only way to make up eleven in four cells, you'd have to put both one and three in here, which is nonsensical. So this is the twenty four cage, and this is the eleven cage. I. I mean, I could pencil mark that by putting 24 in the corner, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to try and remember it um, because those pencil marks might well confuse me. Now, we don't know much about which is which here. Ah, this... No, I don't think we know anything about which is 12, 14 or 6. Oh, do we? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do, because this three-cell cage can't have one, two, or three in it. So the minimum it can be is four, five, and six is 15. So instead it's got to be the 16 by being four, five, seven. Now we've got six, eight, and nine. This cage has to be even as well. So it's six and eight. That's the 14. That's the 16. This is a nine in a 12 cage, which has to now be nine, two, one. Oh, this is lovely. I love the way this is working together. Now, 13, 15, and 17 amongst these three cages. But we need to put a 3 in the box. It can't be in there because that can't be part of a 13, 15, or 17 total. So it's in the top section. That's, oh, in fact, not only is that not a 3, this isn't a 1 or a 2. So this is a 3. Let's get rid of the colours. They've done their jobs. Thank you, blue and yellow. And, um, and good night. Now, mm, that pair adds up to 10, 12, or 14. There's a lot of possibilities there, I think. Actually, yeah, that 3 didn't help at all. This could even be 17, couldn't it? Oh, I know. I've got 2, 4, 5, and 6 still to place in row 7. And this is the 24 cage I worked out. Ah! So it's got to be 4, 5, 6, and 9. It can't be the 11 cage because it can't be 1, 2, 3, 5. Yes, this does work. So that's 4, 5, 6. We get a 9 there, and that is now 24. This pair adds up to 10, being 45 minus 11 and 24. It can't have... Oh, it can't be 6, 4, or 9, 1. It's 3, 7, or 2, 8. This is a 2. We've had the 25 cage. This can't be the 24, so it's the 17 cage. So these two add up to 15. They're 8 and 7. Oh, I love this. Maybe because it plays into my mathematical abilities, and which were exposed yesterday when... Oh, that was very funny. I said, no doubt the reason why the blue dot is a black dot is going to be explained as obvious, trivial, and in two lines of algebra. And then quite, quite a few people did say, or one person particularly said, yes, it is trivial, it is obvious, and here are the two lines of algebra. And that was very amusing. Um, and I'm unembarrassed. I'm not a maths expert. I'm not a beautiful mind. I'm just a puzzle solver. But uh, I enjoyed that. Now, this looks like a weird naked single. To me, it sees four, five, six there, nine there, a seven, eight pair, and a two, three pair. So it's got to be a one. So that is a one. We get five, one over here. That's not a five. Uh, yes, that's become a four, six pair. Right, I probably need to break into another box somehow now. Yeah, this is going to add up to 10, but I don't know whether that's 2, 8 or 7, 3. It's going to have to be resolved by this pair. Um, now, this can't be 11 anymore because 1, 2 and 3 are all looking at those cells. So this is now the 14 cage. Ooh, what's the minimum there? 4 and 5 is the minimum. 
Hmm. I suppose four seven. Oh no, four seven is not possible. I was going to say four seven is the maximum, but look what happens if you put four seven there. You get a one two here, and that's going to kill that cell off, which has to be one or two. So that is not a one two pair. This is not four seven. This is four five or four six. It can only add up to nine or ten, and it doesn't use one two or three. So there is a four there. It's nine or ten. This pair adds up to five or four. Now, if it's four, this is one, three, and that's a two. If it's five, it can't have a four in it. So it's two, three, and that's a one. So this is either one, three, or two, three, and definitely has a three in. And we've got a one, two, three triple in the row. What does that do? Ah, what does it do here? Now up here, we can have one of one or two, but this is the 11 cage now. We can't have them both. I don't think that's helpful. Um, there, I said it. Now that can't be a one because of the one down here. We've definitely got a four there. I, I'm feeling a little unhelped by this cage, I have to say. Mm, we're going to have to look somewhere else. Oh, no, that's a very weird one, two, non-deadly pattern. We have to get one and two in these cells. Okay, let's have a look up here. This is the 40, no, the 16 cage. Ah, this can't be the 20 cage in this box because, well, at least because that lot would add up to 44 and you can't just put one there. In fact, this is five, seven or nine, I can see because of these quads and pairs. Oh, well, even if this is 14 then, and this is 16, that's 30. Eight. It does just work with five there and two here. Ah, oh, okay. Um, oh, what was that? Was I saying thirteen or fourteen here? Can't remember. If this is fourteen and this is sixteen, that's third. That's what I was saying. Thirty-eight, five, and a two. So this is either 14 or 13. I don't know which yet. These two are either 20 and 13 or 20 and 14. That's 33 or 34, meaning this set is either 12 or 11 and is either 1, 2, 8 or 1, 2, 9. Hmm. So this can't have a one or a two. I've known that for ages. Six, eight, there. That's not an eight. That's not a nine. Am I missing anything down here? Oh, there's got to be a six in this cage, which is either 13 or 14. Oh, there's got to be a one in it. So six one seven or six one. Oh, it can't be six one six. Yeah, okay, it's one six seven. That's the fourteen cage. Gosh, that took a while, didn't it? Sorry. Right, eight there. Oh, that. Look, I've reduced those to a seven nine pair. I could have put the eight in and made slightly, slightly. Less heavy weather of that. Seven there, nine and seven. That can't be seven. Now, 14 there, 16 here, 30, eight. These two do add up to seven. Actually, I could have worked out this was a five ages ago. I don't think it would have helped, but I could have done it. That's a nine. This is four, three, and I'm hoping this cage adds up to the right total. 16, it does. Okay. Um, now I know whether this is 128 or 129, but I have to do the maths to check that. That was 14. 
So this is 20 and 13 is 33. This adds up to 12. It is a 1, 2, 9 triple, which doesn't fix this cell. Um, ah, one of these is a 20 cage in three cells without a 9. And that one will be 8, 7, 5, which will either put a 5 there or an 8 there. The other one is a 6, 4, 3 cage. That's really annoying. I can't, I can't see which is which. I might just write the two combinations as an aid memoir there. One of these cages is five, seven, eight, and the other is three, four, six. These are not useful pencil markings. Um, but I just want to remember which is which, which those cages divide into now. Oh, this is 13, 15, or 20. Well, I don't think it's a two, one pair. I think it's got to have the nine in it. Um, it can't be 20. So it's 13 or 15. If it's 15, this is a 5 or a 4. If it's 13, this is a 3. And there's a 1 here. That's not a 9. Oh, look, that's not a 2 now. Oh. Okay, that's a 1. This got easier. 11 there. This can't be... Oh, that's really actually very pretty. I should have done it that way. Um, because now you can see which of 13, 15, or 20 this is. If it was 13, you'd need a second 2 in the cage, and if it was 20, you'd need a second 9. So it's 15, and we get a 4 there. So these two are 13 and 20. They add up to 33, plus that is 37. These two add up to 8. Ooh, they don't have a 3 in, so they're either 2, 6, or 1, 7, a specific way round. Um, and that was the 15, so these are a 20 and a 13. And I was going to say, and the 20 has a 9 in it, but I don't know that, so I'm not going to say that. Now, I still haven't got anywhere with these ones. That's really weird. Oh, maybe I should be backing into this. This, is, this, this adds up to 11, and we can't put a 3 or a 4 in the cage. We can only have one of 1 or 2 this side. Now, does 11 always have two low digits? I think it always has two digits below five in it. Yeah, it must do. So they have to be two or one, since none of these can be three or four. So I think that's right. This is a one, two, eight cage. Let me just rehearse that logic again. Three and four are confined into this cage. So these can't be three or four. That can't be three or four. 11 in three cells always has to have two numbers below five. That must be right. It couldn't have two numbers from five and six. Yes, so one and two must be the two numbers that are in it. With an eight, it's a one, two, eight cage. Gives me a one, two, eight triple here. Oh, this can't now be a two. These add up to eight, don't they? Fives in this cage, and there is a five seven eight. Ooh, what happened there? Sorry, there is a five seven eight cage here. It, okay, so let's get rid of all that stuff. This is the five seven eight cage, which has the eight there. This is a seven five pair. That makes this a six two pair. That takes two out of here. That takes one out of here. Now that's two three. These are four five to make the fourteen total. Um, nine can be placed in the box, and six and seven. This is such a neat puzzle. It's so well put together. That is six or eight in the row. We're finally going to get to these cages. In fact, this one now is three and nine, which are in that pair, and four or five which add up to, well, it has to be an odd number. So that must be an odd number. That's five. They make 17. Um, so we've got a 15 and a 13 here. Five, three, nine, one, two. Maybe we can do this by Sudoku. No, not particularly. That can't be a five anymore. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to leave it and come back to it still. This is a 3, 4, 6 triple, and that one can't be 4. Uh, what have we got up here? We've used... 
counting this cage for about the fifth time, we've used a 15 cage. So this is a 20 and a 13. Oh, I'm going to have to do that by Sudoku. Oh, look, I can place 9 there. This could be the 13. This could be 3, 1. Uh, can it be the, the 20 cage? This would have to add up to 11 without being 9, 2, 4, 7, or 6, 5. Yep, could be 8, 3. So it's either 8, 3 or 3, 1. That's a weird combination. So there's definitely a 3 in one of those cells. How bizarre. So this becomes a 2. This has become a 5 some time ago and I didn't notice. Oh, we know that this is not a 2-8 pair adding up to the 10 that this always had to be. So this is 3-7. 6, 9, 2, 4 in the column has to be there. These are from... That is, oh, that is a naked single 8 now. That's handy. 1-8. So this is a 5. That has become a 3 and that's a 1 and 7 there makes this add up to 20 just like this 857 cage. That is cool. Down here we can finish off columns 2 and 3. That fixes this pair. Oh, this cage is not fully fixed. Going to have to do this stuff in the middle in a moment. I will get there. That's a 2, that's a 9, this one six seven. yeah, it is done, I thought it must be. Now, can I use, ah, oh, maybe I can use this 3, 8, that gives me a 9, so now I can place 9 at the bottom. Um, 8, no, I can't, so I'm going to have to finally do these flipping cages in the middle. 17 there, so we've got a 15, that could be 8 and 7 here. Or these two could be a 6-8 pair. So it's either an 8-7 pair here making 15, in which case that's a 4 and this is a 6. Or these make 13 and they would have to be 7-6. So this is always a 7-6-8 triple. Yes, 4 can never be in there making 13 or 15. So this is a 4, whichever way we go. It almost feels like this doesn't quite disambiguate, but actually it does now. 6 there gives me an 8 here. And that means this was the 15 cage. This is the 13 cage, which works because we take the 8 out. Um, that's the wrong way around. 8, 6, 7, 8, uh, 4. Four, five, four, six, and just three pairs left to disambiguate. Six, four, six, seven, and five, seven. There we go. That is a brilliant puzzle. Really like the way that came together. Um, I hope you had a go at that. Intriguing. I want. I suspect you kind of do have to go this way around the grid. I should have looked at those first, perhaps before this pair of boxes here, but. I think you probably have to see them together to work out those cells. And then I suspect the I sort of worked my way this way around the grid. And I suspect that's exactly what you have to do. But do let me know if your experience was different. That's always interesting. And what you thought of the puzzle. Because I think that's really clever. Um, and always a pleasure to have you with us on the channel. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.